Guys, big comment Dinny. Dinny here. Today's a bad day for banks. It's been a bad week for banks. It's been the worst week for banks ever, in fact, I think. And I want to chat to you a little bit about that because in every crisis there's opportunity for those who are paying attention, for those who understand what's going on, there's opportunity. And for those who don't, there can be calamity. So it's important that you keep in tune, you educate, educate yourself. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see on the stories I was chatting about uh, in Retirely Club, we teach one of the principles that we teach everyone who does our course. You know, we have these principles and every t- when we're structuring our financial plan, we structure around all these principles. One of the principles is that money in the bank isn't risk-free and we have to hedge against it. Now, this week has been one of the worst weeks for banks and stocks are just plummeting. Bank stocks are getting annihilated. Okay. I mentioned bonds. I was like, why the hell is anyone buying a bond? Because with a bond, you're not even beating inflation. You know, a bond is paying you 2%, 3%, and uh, inflation's running at, official inflation's running at 8%. Why the hell would anyone buy something that's guaranteed to lose the money? Well, because they see inherent risking in leaving their money in the bank. Uh, you know, wealthy people. Normal people don't understand. They think a bank is a risk-free place to park your money. Okay. But uh, banking laws have all changed since 2008. And uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have entertained bailouts again, but bail-ins will be entertained. And that means that perhaps the money in your bank account, because once you deposit your money in the bank, just an FYI, off topic, but the bank becomes the legal owner of the money. Most people think they own the money. But um, if you want to test that fact, go and ask for your money. Go and ask for your money in cash and then you'll find out who owns the money, because they won't give it to you. All right, because they own the money. They're the legal owner of the cash, of the funds, of the money. Okay, so it's been a really bad... A uh, week for banks, and what we've had is it's crashed financial markets. So the traditional stock market has lost all its gains in the last six months. Was wiped out this week. Okay, Bitcoin being a bit more volatile hasn't had all its gains wiped out. It's lost five percent, maybe six, seven percent by now. But uh, bear in mind that it's up fifty percent since January. All right, which is pretty cool. Again, Bitcoin this year has been the highest performing thing anyone can own. And it's been the least risky thing anyone can own, including S&P indexes and all the traditional places where people park their money. Guys, good to see you on here on a Friday evening. I'm just walking to the gym. Do me a favour there, whenever you're catching this. If you're on the live, even better. I see a good crew on of familiar faces. Stretch out the index finger and hit the like. That's the only exercise I ask for you this evening. <laughs> and if you're not following or subscribed, make sure you do that, guys. So you stay in touch with this stuff. Um, so where's the opportunity, Dean? You said there was going to be opportunity. I believe that um, by doing the work, okay, and figuring out what Bitcoin is, how it works, why it has value, and why it's programmed to go up in value over time, it's going to give you a unique position, all right? Now, learning that at any stage in Bitcoin is, is going to be really beneficial to your family. But as traditional markets, and we're going through this quantitative tightening cycle, which just means The Federal Reserve, okay, the Central Bank of America, flooded the system with too much dollars. That caused massive inflation. What did Europe do? The European Central Bank, well, they copied them, flooded the system with euros. Lo and behold, we have all this inflation, okay? And inflation is what's called a monetary phenomenon. And that just means the more money there is, the more the price of stuff goes up. So now what they're trying to do is take money out of the system. The way to do that is they have to bankrupt people. So people need to default on their mortgages. And, uh, and that's why, you know, being, being a bank is a great business because you loan someone through factual reserve banking. You loan them air, basically. You know, you haven't loaned them anything that's backed by anything. You loan them air, they take all the risk. And then because the world works in boom and bust because of central banking, when the bust cycle happens, because we manipulate interest rates rather than leaving them to their natural rate, okay, of a free market, because we manipulate them, then we need to send a lot of people into bankruptcy, okay, and that's why it's great to be a bank, because you loan someone air, and now you get a house, you get a hard asset, you get a physical asset, okay, and someone else took all the risk, and uh, and this is why, you know, a lot of people don't trust the banks, they remember what happened in 2008, but like the majority of people don't really understand what happened in 2008, you know, and they just think, oh, it was a recession and we all lost our jobs, but they don't realise the, the criminality that actually went down there. And how it was all 
what do you call it? Privatised gains and socialised losses, I think, is an expression of how you describe it. But, uh, you know, they took all the risk, made all the money, and when it went wrong, dumped it on the taxpayer. Way, well, hey, isn't it great? All right. So, that being said, though, because we're going through this quantitative tightening and we're trying to take money out of the system, and because of what's happened this week with such a, a fall in, 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 in all these bank shares, it's like, you know, something's going wrong. All right. Something is going wrong. Obviously, you won't be told that on the news. Of course you won't, because they all own the media. Okay? But things are starting to break. Now, this is cra crashing all the financial markets. And this is a good thing for us as investors. Howdy. Say hello to Facebook Live. Hello, Facebook Live. Say hello to YouTube Live. Hello, YouTube Live. <laughs> I'm just going to the gym. I'll give you a shout when I'm done. I'll give you a shout when I'm on the way back. Sweet. I'll be at least two hours. <laughs> I'll give you a text. Sorry, just met my wife there. Guys, good crew on here, lots of familiar faces. Do me a favour, hit the like. We're trying to push this content out to more people. So, Dinny, what is the bloody opportunity? Would you get to the point? Sorry, I'm just trying to <laughs> give you a little bit of context. The opportunity is, guys, okay, there's going to be a generational entry into Bitcoin. A generational opportunity to get into Bitcoin at, at prices that... Bitcoin hasn't been that in years. When you actually understand what Bitcoin is and what it's going to do to the world, Bitcoin is the solution that the whole world is looking for. Even these bankers, they just haven't done the work on it. You know, I've done tens of thousands of hours, I guess, at this stage, and years of study into the thing, and I just see it clear as an inevitability. It's a store of value. It's the best place anyone can store the value and every single human every company every country every entity on the planet is trying to store the value somewhere and where do we normally store it in that stuff okay and that's the way it's been for the last 40 years is that we've stored our value or 50 years or whatever it is in property all right now let me just explain this to you because you know people who don't really understand this would be like you can't live in a bitcoin do you all right and i understand that you can't live in a bitcoin but people don't own property to live in it okay you own one house to live in, but any wealthy people, the way you protect and generate wealth is to buy more properties, so you buy investment properties. So you don't give a shit that you can live in it because you don't need to live in it. You're not interested in the fact that you can live in it, okay? You're just interested in the fact that it's monetized, that it protects and grows capital, that the price of the house increases over time, all right? So that's all you're interested in. Now, Bitcoin does everything that the physical investment does, but just like digital music is better than physical music, just like digital media is better than physical media. Just like digital communication is better than physical communication because you have to leverage. I'm talking to a hell of a lot of people here. Okay, and these are all over the place. Just like digital storage is better than physical storage. Think of filing cabinets. Now we have the cloud. Okay, and all the other examples of things that got digitized. Hi, Mark. And here we have a digital version of store value okay and just like all the other things the digital version is an order of magnitude better than the physical and that's why it's inevitable okay so they're all going to figure this out and for those people who do the work and the work takes a couple of years it really takes a couple of years to get yourself in a position where you understand this thing well enough to be able to take advantage of the generational opportunity okay and as i always say retire early that's what it's about all right but it takes what's called proof of work now bitcoin works on proof of work and that's why i love it all right being healthier, being strong works on proof of work. No one can do the reps for you. I'll tell you a little story about that if you'll entertain me for a moment. Okay, so to finish my last point, I suppose. I haven't been live in a while, so I have a lot of waffle. Bear with me. Hope you're enjoying it. Stick a comment in if you are, and just throw a bit of abuse in if you're not. <laughs> um, to finish my last point, property investing was the way that we protected and grew capital in the 20th century. In the 21st century, we won't be using physical property, we'll be using digital property, okay? Because the world is digitizing, we've already digitized pretty much everything except store of value and except money, all right? And it'd be foolish to think that we're gonna continue with these in the physical and they're somehow gonna escape the digitization like everything else. <clears throat> so here's the story about proof of work. Because if you can understand proof of work, you understand why Bitcoin is different than every other cryptocurrency and you understand why Bitcoin is different than the euro, the dollar, the pound, all right? Proof of work is what separates it. 
I had a client. Oh, excuse me, fingers are freezing. Um, so I've been in the fitness industry for not quite two decades, but since I broke my back, a long time. And uh, I had a client who was a very successful uh, doctor, and they were out in the Middle East somewhere, you know, getting paid a hell of a lot of money to uh, look after these Middle Eastern multi multi millionaires, possibly billionaires, you know, oil, big oil families, princes and stuff like that. And because they live the lavish lifestyle, okay, and they don't really have to do any work, they all have diabetes, right, which isn't ideal. So anyway, my client was, um, you know, an expert in this field, and this sort of princess, I think it was, came to see, see him, and she came in with an entourage, okay, an entourage of helpers and servants, you know what I mean? Um, my client who was a doctor said to her, like, the only way we can do this is we got to do some exercise. Oh, I'll just sit down here, finish the story. you got to do some exercise to try and help this diabetes. Like, you know, you, you need to try and control your insulin better. And the only way to do it is to do some bloody exercise. And, you know, I'll obviously explain to her about food. We need to change what you eat and we're going to give you all this medication. And she said, uh, she pointed her towards a, tre a treadmill. And she's like, hop up there. I need you to do 20 minutes on that. Just walking, just a medium pace. And, you know, just princess woman was obese and uh, so that was going to be difficult anyway my client the doctor she left the room she came back 15 minutes later and uh, one of the servants is on the treadmill walking <laughs> this is like fiat this is how fiat works or how crypto works okay and you know the doctor she came in and she's like no no this isn't how it works you can't pay someone else to do the work that's not going to help your diabetes. You have to get on that thing and walk. And I know it's hard and I know it hurts and I know you're going to sweat. But you have to do the work. And that's why proof of work is so beautiful. Okay? Uh, but I thought it was pretty funny, like, you know, and that's just the irony. That's typical fiat where you don't have to do the work, but you can just rig the game. Um, but unfortunately, reality doesn't work like that. The universe doesn't work like that. You're arguing with reality. And if you argue with reality, eventually you lose. Um, so the proof of work of Bitcoin is it takes a good bit of time to understand it, it takes a good bit of education, you know, it takes a good bit of learning, it takes a good bit of wrecking your head, it takes a good bit of challenging everything that you think you know. But when you get it, you really get it, and change your life for the better. And you're able to position yourself so that you can retire early. Many of us, you know, have gone down this path, we've gone through, we've been where you are, okay, and we've done the work to get out the other side, and I can tell you, it's well worth it, okay? So if you can try and study the technology, obviously you need help, that's what we do on Bitcoin with Dini, you know, I'm a full day of consulting tomorrow where I'm going to be building plans with individuals to retire early. I can help you. Fast track your journey if you want. Get onto my website, becomeadini.com. Check out consulting. Check out done for you. Check out done with you. Check out a retire early club. All the shameless plugs. But ultimately, you got to do the work, guys. Okay? And yes, I can help you do the work faster or point you in the right direction so you're more efficient with your work. But, you know, I can't do this for you. Just like, just like the servant can't walk to help the feckin' princess's diabetes. You're either prepared to do the work or you're not. And those who are prepared to do the work, you know, it, it's, 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 no, it's not luck that they now have a lifestyle of flexibility and no financial worries and a lot more free time. And I think that's available for everyone because you have a generational opportunity. Bitcoin's adoption, okay, is 0.05%. That's where it is. And remember, if I'm right, and there's many much smarter people than me. You know, financial managers think Greg Foss managing risk for 35 years, a bond trader. Um, James Lavish, maybe another one, a very successful bond trader. You know, if we're right, well, the whole world is searching for this thing. Just like if I was sitting outside uh, looking at Video Vault and I was saying, if I own that Video Vault where people can go in there and rent their videos, I might be trying to get rid of that because uh, there's this thing coming around. Okay, <laughs> it's called Netflix, and it's literally people aren't going to need to go to your store anymore, all right, because it's just better. And that's exactly what Bitcoin is, it's just better than everything else, all right. Now, it does take a good bit of work to get there, but guys, if you're on the journey, fair play to you, keep working. I think we're going to have a generational opportunity coming up. Maybe this is it, maybe this is as good as it gets. A 20k Bitcoin is as good as it gets, and to be honest, that's probably not a bad entry if you're prepared to hold that for a decade. That's generational opportunity, okay? But perhaps we get more, because if the banking sector is going through hell and their stocks are plummeting so hard, and we're seeing Swiss um, 
uh, can't remember that Swiss bank now is pretty much about to go out of business and they're I think they're 140 years old so you know don't think that banks are immune banks are overextended they're over leveraged and they're all in trouble and any single bank run there's not a single bank out there that isn't susceptible to a bank run which will annihilate them no bank can survive a bank run because of fractional reserve banking when you understand how that works it's just like it's not possible they don't have the money they do not have your money okay if we all go look for our money it's not there all right and there's no amount of insurance can cover that because the insurance only covers one percent all right so we could see some contagion we could see some more banks collapse we're seeing the banking stocks getting absolutely annihilated and for those who are prepared for those who are you know sitting and having some cash could be a really great opportunity for us anyway that's what we've been doing the retire early club we've been planning for this we dca we accumulate sats as well just so we're right either way we don't have to you know position all our eggs in one basket for me i like to try and hedge myself so i do you know both sides of the trade so i'm winning either way all right now with that just to close there's a fact that you're not going to win as big each each way all right but i take those odds all day long Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket and you win big or you lose big, I'd rather have half my eggs in one here and half my eggs here, okay? Because then I win either way. That's how we head yourself. That's how we do it in Retire Early Club. Guys, hope you have a super day. My fingers are freezing. I'm going in here now to the gym to get a big pump on. And that is proof of work, which is really important. Guys, if you need help, make sure you jump on. Check out our consultant. Check out our Retire Early Club. Come part of the community, have the crack, keep learning. You've got such an opportunity here, I promise you. This video will age well. You come back and check this in five years, you come back and check it in 10 years, you come back and check it in 15 years. And by the way, if anyone is watching this in 15 years, tag me because uh, we're going to have some laugh looking at this uh, with the people. That, and we're going to be looking back on, how did they not see it coming? And they'll be like, but that Danny lad was just on and on and on and on, just saying, lads, watch what's happening. Check out the adoption. Forget the price. Have a super day. Dinny out.